Welcome back to the adventures of Mr. Worldwide himself, Pitbull. Or, in this case, uh, it's Imperia Julius Augustus. Imperia? Imperator Julius Augustus. I'm not going to say his last name because I have a feeling that might be why all my YouTube videos are demonetized. So, what's the plan? Well, we're slowly heading to try and grab a border with China. Now we can either go this way or this way. But going this way means we've got to go through the Western Protectorate, and I'd rather not fight them twice. So, we're going to head up through the Tibetan Basin, along the Silk Road, into China via Dunhuang here. In the meantime... Sorry, where's all my gold gone? Minus 6,521 gold. Um... Why? Oh, hang on. I remember, we got a, we got a province buff, didn't we? Um... What did we get? Amber root. Tr yeah, silver. But merchant harbor. Minority. Ah, oh, that was it. We bought a minority settlement. Right. And that cost me like 5,000 gold. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a while before we can do much. Don't worry, I will skip over that. I won't, I won't subject you to the next two years of me sitting here waiting for my money to regrow. In that time, hopefully my vassals will pull their finger out of their arse. Oh, demonetized. And uh, grab the rest of Northern Africa. Grab the rest of the UK. Maybe spread into Germania a bit. They've already started on that. Um, they've grabbed sort of Friesland there. They've gra grabbed... Um, a little bit of central Germany, Thuringia, and uh, I suppose we'll just leave them to it for a couple of years. We'll let Rome administer itself while we sit around and count our pennies. You know what, actually that took nowhere near as much time as I thought it would. So, um, let's set the right news to reinforce. Hang on, we've just broken even. To be fair, we are making a ridiculous amount of gold. We're making 5,000 gold um, a year there, so obviously it didn't take that long. Retinue upkeep is very, very low, but you've got to remember that's also not being reinforced right now. And we're only at half our retinue cap. If I turn that on, just to give us an example, ugh, 554 gold a month in retinue cost? Holy shit. And that's going to, we're going to lose 1,000 gold per year. So the retinues are costing us 6,500 gold a year. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe that's not good for Rome. Um, I think half reinforced, we should be okay. We might break a couple of hundred gold profit as well. Yeah, 150 gold, that's fine. Um... Yep, you're fine. Uh, gift for my wife. We'll buy my ha wife a horse because the times of austerity are over. Uh, the Pharaoh of Garamantis? Wait. Oh, he was the guy I landed, wasn't he? I'm surprised he doesn't like me more. Here, have a gift. Right. Um, my vassals actually did nothing because it only took, you know, like a year to actually pay that debt off. So, um, you know, I was, I was a little bit over-optimistic there. Right, we've got to take out Kasake then. And then we've also got to take out Tarim. And then we're headed on the bottom path just because that was... Um, a lot more efficient in terms of actually who we'd have to murder. So obviously we're going to have to murder the Liege of Tarim twice there. And the Liege of Kasuke twice as well. Um, K Kasake? Sure. Declare war. We want to conquest Shul. And that should be that. Thank God we don't have defensive packs at this point in time. I'm pretty sure they're not enabled with this mod, are they? I'm not entirely sure in hindsight. I might have manually disabled them, but I, I doubt it. Um, generally I like to leave them on because they are pretty good for, you know, anti-blobbing as we're doing now. Um... But again, I don't think I actually messed around with the rules too much. I'll take a look in a minute. Uh, keep this information myself. Yeah, absolutely. We just want to quickly blast through these provinces. Don't forget that we haven't got retinues being reinforced. So let's go ahead and just set that to maximum while we fight through this war. But not enough to hopefully get us bankrupt and lose all of our morale. Right. And that should be done. Oh, I thought that was him surrendering then. Who's this dude? Um, Kargan Rasset the Cruel. You sound like the perfect man to marry off my daughter to. There we go. All right. And 97%. Oh, come on. Just surrender it. Oh, nope, still doesn't want to surrender. Okay, there we go. Perfect, right. And now you have to die. Sorry, but that's just the uh, the lay of the land. Basically, everybody up to this stage has gone through the same thing, so don't think you're special or anything. Right. Asabana Shul, you can have a gift. Uh, Z Godis, you may have a gift. Rome has the money for it these days. Well, barely, but we do have some money. And then his capital is the province that we actually want to take out next. We'll go ahead and build the spy network there. What's it going to take us up to? This pleases me. My daughter became a charismatic negotiator. Put up with the collection of children, what we've had. Holy shit. That's absolute. Oh, thank, thank you, Gaius Black as Jesus, for adding me to your friends list. I appreciate that. Um, oh, it didn't show up on the capture. That's a shame. Um, do we want to become close friends my, with my grandson? Sure. My 53-year-old grandson. Why not? Yeah, that sounds nice. Good, good luck. Um... Dragon amulet, really? Wow, my family are actually quite well landed then, aren't they? I only actually gave away one land to one of my sons, but it seems like from there they've sort of... Uh, we've got one king. We've got one count, Prince Gordinian. Oh, we've got two kings. Oh, yeah, because he was the dude that we landed in Persia because we were way over our vassal limit. I remember. Right. Um, I'll tidy things up. We'll wait for this dude to die, and then we'll keep heading over to China. And hopefully, by the end of this episode, we can have the actual conquest ready and waiting to go. Next episode, it's all going to be about that war versus China. Well, that's a little bit annoying. The mercenaries ambushed the carriage of King Balamba and made short work of him. However, the drivers survived and saw through their disguises. Oh no, we were caught murdering. And again, in, in CK2, without CK2+, that really doesn't matter too much because we've already got 
the minus 10 general opinion there. Um, we should probably keep an eye on our vassals, see what they think of us right now. I imagine our long rain bonus has basically made us um, unhateable. What have we got? Yep, no, I think we're good, actually. We've got two vassals that don't like me. One's the leader of a rock. We've got this one dude as well. Right, he needs to be shuffled under a king to help sort out the vassal limit. Um, I will do some vassal limit maintenance in a second. We'll just give it to this dude, right? Transfer vassalage. Here you go, pal. I'm not really interested in looking after this random dude. Uh, it was him, right? Yep. Off you go. Now, a lot of you point out we've got a lot of priests under us, but priests don't contribute to vassal limits. It's only barons. It's only counts and higher, I should say. So if we sort by rank, it's basically anybody. Like, none of these count to vassal limit. It will only be any of these characters and up. And if you look, these are all of our legions. So that's mainly what's causing us so many issues is because we directly vassalize these legion tiles and they actually cancel vassal limit despite not being landed so it would make sense to actually land them somewhere and we've also got these dudes which i could give away yeah i don't know why we've got these guys these these definitely shouldn't be under us there so who is the king of um we actually don't have one sure i'm gonna give it to this dude just because he's a, a nice roman man so we'll transfer some vassalages here and try and tidy things up all right, so I've tidied up the vassal limit a little bit. It turns out there were like three that I could have got rid of up in Germania, but that's just from where they've been conquested, so I, I really had no knowledge of that. Unfortunately, now, our vassals are completely tidied up. So we've got all kings under us, which is, you know, natural. We can't do anything about that. We've then got the various dukes of Italy here. Um, we've got a couple we can get rid of, but we've got like Albany uh, up in Scotland, but obviously we don't have a king of Scotland yet, so unfortunately we've just got to put up with that until they've uh, tidied that up for me. And then besides that, we've got our legions and our imperial fleets, which we're obviously adding to our vassal limit. And then finally, we've got a load of, um, oh, well, there's all our legions. And then we've got a load of irrelevant characters. So these ranks don't add to our vassal limit. We've got quite a few of those, but again, it's, it's not important. So we're basically as tidy as we can be, unfortunately. And we're still up to that 47 out of uh, 53 vassal limit. And I've also had to shuffle a lot of vassals under the same rulers. So Persia has a lot more than they should. You know, they're going all the way into, into the uh, Tibetan basin there. But I want Persia to remain strong. So that they're more inclined to actually go out and declare war of their own sort of um, volition there. Similarly, we've got a bit of a mix-up in uh, in Africa as well. But that's only because Nubia grabbed a lot of land they shouldn't have. So I had to, in turn, give um, Tarakanesis here a bit more land to make up for the land that they've lost to, you know, Nubia already existing. So, basically, as effective as I can get it. Besides that, the, other, the rest of the sort of uh, European ones in particular look very, very nice. Uh, the only real complaint I've got is, is a couple of very small kingdoms around... This area, which I'm not a big fan of, but again, I can't do anything about that short of provoking the vassals. What are you? Sorry, Amazi. Georgian paganism. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I won't complain too much. He is my, my kinsman, so he's not likely to uh, do anything particularly troubling, but we could demand a religious conversion, see what he says. Uh, yep, thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, problem solved. Right, so back to uh, this dude now that we can actually declare war on, right? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, we've got a rivalry. Oh, because I killed his dad. Yeah, understandable. Have a great day. Shane, you are going down, my friend. That's not his name. That's a, Oh, sorry. Shay. Shaya? Shah, Shah Hair. Uh, whatever. Definitely not Shane, though. We'll take this guy out. Um, my daughter died, and apparently they gave me a new heir? I'm not sure that's right. My heir was Gordinian, but I guess... Oh, you know what? I just shuffled him under another vassal, didn't I? Um... I can't even see him anymore. I think he might have died. Sure. Uh, so now the, the king of Persia is our heir. He's not a bad character by any stretch of the imagination. So if we die, are we going to be able to keep Rome together? Probably not. I'll be honest with you. I don't think that's ever going to happen if we die. Just based on the actual size and terrible borders of the place. But, you know, if, if there is any character that could potentially do it, it's it's that dude there with his 18 diplomacy. Right. Yarkand, you can have that one again. I want to keep this centralized under Persia to keep it as powerful as possible. I've no interest in it. To be completely honest with you. We've also got the prefecture of where? Um, I think it must have been part of it. So that's Ravenna. Uh, the rest are obviously ours, because those are the ones the patrons named. And we should be good then. Tareem, when was the last time I went to war with you? Okay, you need to die as well. Sorry, pal. 26%? Oh, God, we might not actually be able to get this one then. Shit. Um, right, this one could take some time. In that case, let's... Well, you can have the, the title of Chaos, though, because I don't really care. Move our spy master over there. Have we got any better spy master? We've got one dude, except he's the leader of a revolt. Hang on. He's as good, and he's a king level title, so he can definitely take that instead. Um, improve relations there as well to try and get whoever we can on our side. And I've got to sit here and buy favors and send gifts out to whoever I can in this dude's court to try and murder him dead. A powerful nymph protects our province. That's kind of cool. That's a really, really good modifier, actually. Disease resistance plus 10% is, is pretty significant by itself there. Um... Northern Way Empire, can we do anything with you before we really, really annoy you? Let's let's cash out the last of it. Get ourselves a Way Tapestry. Now, we know we haven't got to worry about, you know, losing 
our uh, favor within there. We still can't do anything against them either, which is a little bit annoying. Um, why don't we take a look at our artifacts and see what we've actually grabbed from this dude at this point. So Noble Scepter we don't want, we could give that away. Obsidian Axe we definitely don't want, so we could give that away. Uh, Crown of Pearls, we have a very, very slightly better crown there. We don't really have good jewelry though. So when we make 3,000 gold, I will um, try and make something a little bit better. And all the way compendium of medicine, that's really good. Fertility plus 15%, that explains, that explains a lot. You know, suddenly I'm, I'm realizing what's happening here. Um, wait, what happened to, oh, that's Edun. She's gone insane. She's gone insane from her many, many years of concubinage. She's basically just been a breeder for, for 160 years, so that's kind of acceptable that she would go a little bit mad from that. Um, now, I want to see what that Way Tapestry did, because I'm trying to memorize these a little bit better so I don't have to keep checking. Uh, way Tapestry, Way Tapestry. Um, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Well, that's really good. Short range years, minus two. That's, that's going to save us the game. Well done, team. Really great. Uh, I don't want to usurp titles from my vassals. Thank you, game. Not really necessary. What else can we do here? Nothing. Now we play the waiting game. The great Mobadan, Mobad Shion II, has declared a great holy war against some random dude. Sarap Bakatir, who? So the, the Mazdan Zoroastrians are going after Arabia of all places. Why not? Okay, fair enough. You know, I think you'd have bigger things to worry about, bearing in mind this. But you know what, that's fine. That, that is genuinely no concern of ours. We could do some practice reading. Right, so what have I done in these brief few minutes while we're waiting for this dude to die? Um... I have taken two more concubines because the Emperor was bored of his old 51-year-old wife there. And we have some fresh concubines ready to uh, increase the ridiculous amount of kids that we've got. This is so good. Um, sure, become diligent, young daughter. Oh. He managed to evade the snake and the guards caught the serpent as they tried to slither away. Brilliant. Well, that doesn't matter too much. Oh, we're having a bowman kill him dead instead, though. Right, so we might be able to just go to war immediately without me having to uh, cut all this shit out. Hey, hey, don't... Wait, hang on. That's what we can do. Good point. I know, what you, I know what you feel like, chat. I know that you want to see that religious map mode. Look at this. This is so good. Um, basically, we're unstoppable at this point. We have a, a nice strong core of Hellenism here. A few Christian uh, enclaves hanging out there. Even the Druids have started to convert. And you know what? I feel like we should definitely be focusing on those boys a little bit. Oh. I don't know why I'm limited and where I can place my auger now. Does anybody know why that is? It's because he's landed, maybe. I think that might be the case, but I'm not entirely sure. Hang on. Let's, let's put that... Yeah, okay. Right, I'm a genius. Okay, let's move you up to uh, Ireland and get rid of some of these druids because those need eroding away the most because they're the second strongest uh, religion in the world. Right, besides that, those Zoroastrian is going to die off naturally. In fact, we've already done a pretty decent score on Persia there, so we might as well just wait and see what happens. Um, this is good. I don't like that my... Oh, failed again. Fine, fair enough. I don't like that my name is uh, here of all places rather than, you know, spread across the map gloriously. I feel like if we took the rest of Arabia, that would tidy itself up. Speaking of tidying itself up, Africa seems to be not long for this world. Uh, they're losing three walls there at once, which means hopefully after that's done, we'll have all of that colored in. We'll have the whole of Africa, most of Europe, obviously besides, or most of Western Europe, I should say, besides uh, Germania there. We've got, you know, a shit ton, almost all of the Middle East there, and we'll take the Arabian Peninsula too. We've almost got all of Central Persia as well. We just need to take out Surin, and he's dead. Thank God for that. Right. And then we'll take the Tibetan Basin. The cornerstone, the jewel of the Roman Empire. Oh, did I just retreat that battle genuinely? <sighs> what a mistake. Okay. Um, let's enlighten this dude to join the correct team. He said no. I can't believe it. I thought he'd say no. Okay. Uh, let's crush you. And then hopefully, we've got some easy... So we've got one, two... Two more wars to get to China. Oh my god, we can actually get those episodes so easily. We've got to kill off the leader of Tarim again. We might as well start work on that already. Is it this dude? Yeah, you can die. Only 37% against this guy as well, really? Um, not even anybody in this guy's court I can bribe. Although the people I bribed in this dude's court right now will go to his court. He'll inherit the court with it. So they should hopefully still back me in the plot there. Nice. That should speed things up a little bit. Right, 30% war score. So we've got to take this one, this one, which we can obviously crank straight away. Um, Don Hoang, we haven't been to war with yet, so we can just take those guys out as well. Ooh, Chuban's very large. Is this just a, just a, quite a small horde? Yeah, they're not particularly relevant. Okay. Right, let's get this dealt with. What do you want? Uh, you want my daughter. Understandable. Have a great day. Enjoy. <laughs> that sounds a bit weird. A bit like a, a Roman emperor pimp at this point. 52%. How many kids have we got? Is there a way to find out just the number of children that we've had? Um, living member 77. I mean, how many of those are ours? Total members 159. That's unbelievable. That's so good. 
And that's basically all just come from our generation too. That's insane. Seeing as we were the last of our line and now we've um, proliferated might be the right term for it. Good luck with that. Yep. Good luck, my friend. Okay, right. Is, it? is this not his capital? No, it definitely is not. Oh, shit. Now it's the new dude. How annoying. Um, wait, is that the new dude? I'm not sure. That might be a different man. I might just be being very racist. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, no. He just had his armor on. Right. Understandable. You look like a completely different guy. It was the, it was the uh, Clark Kent syndrome a little bit. Let's hunt their armies down and kill those. That'll give us the war score we need. Hey, do you want to stop running away? We're going to have to go over to the capital anyway, so this is fine. It doesn't matter if we don't catch their troops. Now nah, we're good. Right. Nomad agitation. Um, that's annoying. Where is that? I don't really want to spend gold on useless things like keeping nomads out of my provinces. Okay, that's fine. Um, is there anywhere else? No, it's just that one. New ambition. Let me guess. Be at peace for 10 years. I have no worries. Oh, okay, that's fine. Get rid of the trait depressed. It kind of encourages the game to speed through depressed and, and have more events to get rid of it, which is kind of like, kind of nice. Right, get rid of you. Ooh, some losses there. We might have to reinforce our retinues a bit more uh, effectively. Damn, that's going to cost a fortune, isn't it? Shit. <laughs> We're going to bankrupt Rome going to war for Tibet of all places, or the Tibetan Basin, I should say. Um, can I trade fussy? Share? I don't know who these children are. I've lost count of my, of my children. All right, come back round. Let's give that away. Guess what, my friend? You've earned yourself a province. That's right, the Prefecture of Kotan. You were waiting for it. Everybody wants the Prefecture of Kotan. Court Chaplain, um, Anius. Biggest Maximus Anius. I need you to get into uh, Ireland for me and put an end to these Celts. My Frumentari, uh, we need to be killing off Tarim again. So where's his capital? It's still where it was when we last sieged it. They haven't moved it since. No, they actually have. Bamboozled. Absolutely bamboozled. Wait. Oh, no, that is their capital. Right. Okay. Uh, what's our chance to kill us do? 44%. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, nobody wants to join either. So we're just going to have to rely on our spy master then to help see things along quite nicely. Uh, you can learn on your own. So I don't give a shit about you. Tiny, tiny girl. Oh, Gaul is now considered part of Rome. Does your part of Rome. Now. Oh, the province of Caledonia? Oh, Hadrian's Wall and, and Antoine Ant Antonine Wall. At the last to include Caledonia. There we go. Nice. Okay, sweet. I didn't realize we had any Imperial borders left to reconquest, but apparently we've done it. So, what I'm going to do... Now, this has been suggested a lot in the comment section, is what I'm going to do to see the end of this series out. After we put a horse on the throne of China, we are going to use the Divide the Empire option. Um, what do we need for that? We just need 4,000 gold. Everything else, we're, we're good. We're not limited by the size of the Empire or anything. We're going to divide the Roman Empire in two and see what the fuck happens. Now, I imagine... All of the... Actually, I don't know. I was going to say all of the Dijon land I imagine we'll keep. But what if, what if, like, I don't know, the Byzantine Empire counts as the Dijon land of the Roman Empire? Then what would happen? Yeah, that's going to be very, very strange. We're definitely, definitely going to do that when we can. I've got to tidy up a little bit more of Tibet, though. And obviously, we've got to, we've got to deal with China as well before that happens. Mayor Dristar, why have you done this? My reputation is ruined. Well, I think... Oh, speak of the devil. I think he's about to die soon. And that will allow us to take this final province. Oh, God, my money. Um, are we reinforcing the retinue again? Yeah, we kind of have to, though, because taking those two provinces, I basically did a... Why did he sound like that? He, he looks a lot more imposing than he really was if he sounded... Oh, oh, the snakes, oh. Anyway, he's dead. Right, next. <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't talk bad of the dead, I'm sorry. Show more reverence. Right, uh, can we... Yeah, okay, great. Convert to Hellenic. I'll check that again before the video's ended because we've had a lot of conversions while I've just been grabbing those two provinces. Like I was saying, though, I had to... Um, I did a bit of a smash and grab and we lost almost all of our troops there trying to do it. So, um, when this is broken even... Can throw charitable, lose two gold? God damn it. Do we not already have... Oh, we still don't have charitable after all this time. Let him rot. Let's go ahead and... I don't know why he's in my prison. Doesn't matter too much. Let's ransom all the prisoners. That should hopefully pay for this next campaign. Thank you very much. Right. We are, in that case... Council say no. Why, council? Ah, oh, why the council malcontent? Oh, because we're way over our domain limit. Understandable. Have a great day. Right, grant land and title. You may have... Um, char, char click. And you may have... Um, Churchin. And then we should be good. i got to let, obviously, some time tick so they can decide whether or not they like me again now. And then we should be good to go. Declare war. Yeah, there we go. Right. Um, we want this one. And then we've actually done it. My god, we have a border with China. Now, I'm probably going to tidy up the rest of the Tibetan Basin. So we've got a good staging ground to actually dive into China with there. 
the Atenic heresy has appeared in the county of Akadakadakane. Me too, friend. Right, let's get rid of you. I am just going to assault this one down again, despite the fact that it's costing us a small fortune, because I'm impatient. Uh, we'll lose 30 prestige. I don't really care about that too much. Ooh, careful. Careful, team. Don't lose too many. Uh, what do we want to do? 16% shit. We are going to have to take the capital. Oh, God. You know what? I am pretty great. I'll spend 7,000 gold on a statue of me. That seems about right. Why not? Um, apparently, one of our children came of age. Yep. Yes, they did. Uh, we got tech advances as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with, number one, tolerance. Number two, popular customs, because I've got noble customs. Apparently, not popular customs. Uh, trade practices are completely irrelevant in this, to my knowledge. I think they're absolutely pointless. Let's go to Rome very quickly. Uh, what can we build in the trade post of Rome? Nothing. What about Constantinople? Oh, we can actually build things in Constantinople. Oh, well, that's money I basically left on the table. Okay, my mistake. Um, oh, weird. Okay, I don't know why we can't build any in Rome, but we can in... Oh, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's go for town infrastructure, castle infrastructure, improved keeps. Don't care about church infrastructure too much, mainly because we can hold castles and towns naturally. Let's go for... What do you think? Siege equipment? Just to get through this a little bit more. When we're against China, apparently we have to occupy the Western Protectorate holding, so siege equipment is going to be very, very useful. I feel like cavalry as well wouldn't hurt, because that way we can buff up our cavalry retinues, which we've already got a shit ton of. And uh, really, hopefully, beat China's troops with that. But they do have pikemen, though, don't they? China is sort of known for their pikes. I have to be careful with that, then. Doesn't matter too much. We'll see how it goes. And then, Earth Hill Fort has been built. A new found my bone. Earth Hill Fort? Why is that a tribe? <laughs> um... That boy ain't right. What happened there? Did we... Maybe the castle was burnt down? I actually have no idea what's happened there. Alright. Well, let's not worry about that too much. That could have happened years ago. I'd have never noticed. Right. You're dealt with. Uh, let's head up to the capital. Siege that down. And then we should be good. Spinach may taste bitter, but I eat it because I found it makes me healthier and stronger. I've heard rumors of less bitter spinach in faraway lands, though. I'm strong to the finish because I eat my spinach. And that's why he's got 60 kids. Right, let's take out the final province. And we should be... Why can't... Sorry? Oh, right, because I'm missing 3,000 gold. Yeah, no, understandable. I wanted to get in the spinach event, so I thought that was pretty important. Way more important than uh, sitting around waiting for the 3,000 gold to disappear. It shouldn't take too long anyway. Now, what can we do? Uh, load up a cart with cheese and wine. Sure. Um, oh, we're getting a new court position. Right, I see. I was going to say, that better not be the event to send the Chinese emperor food. Because I'm really not interested in sending the Chinese emperor anything at this point. Besides troops. Uh, to, to kill him, obviously. Not as, like, you know, reinforcements. Okay, so. Um, now that I know we can actually build things in Constantinople. I just wanted to take a look at the uh, at the buildings here. Trade route wealth. Okay, so it's, it's the standard buildings then. Um, although, I wonder if they've got extra upgrades. No, it's just that. Sorry? Buttermilk the horse? Oh, she's attractive and lustful. Nice. Uh, invite to court. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. Um, this is so good. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, set aside. No, wait, we can marry her. Wife? Uh, wife? You are, wait, wife? Divorce, wife? Oh, shit, we haven't got any gold for a divorce. Stay there, buttermilk. Don't go anywhere. Hang on. I need to get rid of my wife, then we're set. Oh, she's a druid? Shit. I didn't even realise. Okay, well, that's double the reason for a divorce. Firstly, we've got an attractive horse. Secondly, we've got an Irish wife. Uh, who's a druid? That's, that's the main part. I'm not I'm not Irish racist. To the soft mule, Julius. Very rude. Um, although, I, we're about to get ourselves a nice soft mule. <laughs> I hate this game. Right. We're good. No, hang on. The right news. They've stolen my money. Please, come on. Hurry up. I need to... Shit. Great library. No. Um. God damn it. Okay, ransom some prisoners off. God damn it. Okay, get out. Hang on. I I'm going to wait until we've got our gold back so I can divorce my wife and marry a horse. Sorry? 5,000 gold to arrange a divorce with my wife? No. 5,000 gold. Why do they not put a cap on that, of all things? Jesus. I saw another horse in there somewhere. I saw you. You got that? Hang on. There he was. You can't hide from me, horse boy. Oh, it's my son. Right. Understandable. Oh, good. A crusade. Who is this boy? Lower, lowercase p patriarch Cyril the, the, the third. Great. Okay. 
Yeah, you, good luck with your crusade there, pal, with your, with your zero men. That's fine. All right, wife is gone. New wife, buttermilk. Welcome aboard. Arrange marriage to Julius Augustus Biggest Dickers. I've never been happier. She's got a bit of a scar, though. Oh, shit. Oh, God, the horse has lover's pox? That's disgusting. Um, well, she's only 22 as well, so we could get ourselves plenty of horse children. Now, what I want to do is find, uh... Who else have we got in terms of horses? There's so many glitter hoofs. Holy shit. Um, are there any other buttermilks? Let's, let's reset. Hang on. Uh, buttermilk. There is a buttermilk, but she's a human horse. God, this is horrible. What the hell have we done? Oh, God, her mother was a horse as well. I don't even know how that's happened. <laughs> this fucking game. Now, some of you said take the bear child and uh, land him and make him a king. So if we can find him, I absolutely will do. Uh, bear? Oh, hang on, there is one. Oh my god, there's a Germanic bear bear ruler. Where are you? The twister of... of... Oh, he's my vassal? Do you have a bear daughter that you're... Can I um, invite to court? Yes. Nice. Welcome to court. Bernadette. <laughs> the best joke I've ever told. Right, break betrothal. Nope, you belong to the Julius Augustus now. We're going to go ahead and set... Oh no, wait, she's pregnant. We can't set her aside. We're going to go ahead and set you aside. Look at this fucking lineup we've got now. Uh, take concubine. Where is she? Bear, bear Danette. Perfect. We've got a horse wife, an immortal, insane uh, concubine, and a bear concubine for another. This is so good. Lose the trait drunk again on learning. Oh, learning. Hang on. That's what we want. I will pay the farmer out of my own coffers and maybe gain the trait just. We got nothing. Wait, are we already just? We are. Good. Okay. So we're on the last province here for China after our, our marriage situation there. The country of bulk is converted. Hang on. You know what we are missing? There is only one other animal in CK2, but this one's very rare to spawn. It's a cat. Um, it's, it's Mittens the Spy Master, specifically. Um, let's just go for Mittens rather than cat. No, no Mittens have spawned yet, unfortunately. That's an incredibly rare event. I've never actually seen the cat spawn. I've seen the bear before and I've seen the horse. But, obviously, I think the cat is... I think it might be Indian-specific, but I'm not entirely sure with that. Don't, don't quote me on it. Um, right. The strength of the play, we lost trait drunkard. We'll, we'll gain it back immediately in exchange for... Jesus, 74 learning. Now that on top of... Oh, I've just realized that's not a scar. That's lipstick. And she's also apparently got a ghost. Oh my god, what is that? That is genuinely horrific. There's apparently some sort of Oni ghost there haunting her as well. So because we have the uh, the Scholar's Founder or whatever the hell it was called in Rome. Uh, great Library. Technology spread rate. What else do we have there? We have some, some Scholar's thing. Anyway, the Great Library is plus 25% tech spread rate because we've also got... Uh, plus 74 learning. Our tech points are going to be through the roof right now. Um, learning plus stewardship. 74 plus 24. That's insane. That's like so, so good. So all we would have from county modifiers and buildings would be 2.5. But because of our character and his rank as well, we're getting 9 instead of that too. That's, in, that's an insanely good tech growth there. So with the library as well, that's going to spread through Roman. Obviously, we're going to be incredibly powerful very quickly. I feel like we might be able to beat China just based on our tech level alone. It's, it's genuinely getting to that stage where we might be unstoppable just based on, you know, our, our tech points. Because we're going to have so much advantage over him in terms of, like, you know, military organization. In terms of, uh, in terms of cavalry as well and heavy infantry too. Oh, China. You don't know what's going to hit you. It's going to be Emperor Julius Augustus and his many animal children. Um, you can learn on your own. The question is now, do we put a bear or a horse on the throne of China? Maybe we could put a bear on one half of Rome, us on the other half of Rome, and then a horse on China. That seems like a pretty decent idea. All right, let's just assault the town. Get this war over with. Really? Um, oh, those will be his troops right there. Seeing as they have the same banner as him. So let's go hunt those down. And that should be enough to win this war. It's going to be quite a close battle. Let's make sure... Oh, I was going to say make sure we've got good commanders. But I think we're I think we're pretty all right. Nice. Holy shit, have we actually done it? We're all the way over to the other side of China. All right, Grant Lan title. You may have whatever the hell it's called. Don Huang. There we go. And then... Invade the Northern Wei Empire. What do we need? Has a realm county bordering the Western Protectorate. Has borders the eastern edge of the map. I mean, we we definitely have that. North, west, south, east, east edge of the map. I mean, we definitely fulfill that, but I don't know why we're not allowed to invade. Um, maybe they have to be... I think they have to be... Like, they're stable and open, which is fine. One of these must be true. Has a realm bordering the Western Protectorate. Or... As a realm bordering the eastern edge of the map. Alright then. I guess we'll turn the fuck around. And we'll go and border. Hang on. We border the western protectorate too. 
My god, I've never felt so bamboozled in my life. Um. What? Why, though? Force open the... Yeah, that's fine. That's when they're isolated. Huh. Okay, I need to look into this then. I feel like we might have hit a big hurdle here in the sense it might be disabled and when the world stopped making sense. Um, if that's the case, I'll mod it out because I'm definitely going to be doing this. Thanks for watching. Damn, that's a lot bit anticlimactic. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely find, find a way around it. Don't worry, we will be invading China. We've achieved a lot. We have a horsewife. We have a bear concubine. And obviously an immortal. Uh, these ones are invisible. These are invisible bears, as you'd expect. Next episode... We will be going to war with China, whether the game wants us to or not. And a shout out to my top tier insane level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Croesus, Gabriel Randos, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Spired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, Jackson Whitman, Tyler Birch, for their insane tier levels of support. And a big shout out to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Montagna, Necrophilin, Felix Steele, Princess of the Dragon, Nick Noblesse, Quet Lachley, Zara Even, Fukuno Vasquez, Paul Master, Parator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpity, Nine the Lizard King, Lyland Thomas, Yoran DeVries, UFTs, Duncan Two and Seven, Jordan Campbell, Asro, Sidney, Joseph Beer, and Chris. For their support at the sensible Patreon tiers. Thank you. I'm going to be changing the way Patreon works. Not in the actual way it, it works by itself. It's still going to work the same. But actually the way I'm integrating into videos. Um, so hopefully you guys get a bit more out of it. Feel free to have a look at that. I'm going to be rewriting the Patreon probably tomorrow as well. In advance for November. Which is when I'm re-changing you know, a lot of stuff with the channel. So see you then.